You better beware if you do not have an easy pass on your vehicle, you could be paying more at the toll booths by the year 2021. That is a proposal the Thruway Authority Board approved earlier today in a series of so-called toll adjustments. Good evening, I'm Scott Levin. And I'm Mary Alice Demler. That big announcement actually took some of our local state lawmakers by surprise. Two on your side's Jackie Roberts explains. The Thruway Authority has a lot of questions to answer. State Senator Tim Kennedy, who heads the Senate Transportation Committee, surprised and frustrated to learn of the proposal approved by the Thruway Authority Board of Directors. It's a heavy-handed, unaccountable authority that is making decisions without ever having conferred with uh, the electeds, without ever having listened to the general public, because I can tell you everything that I've heard is that there is no appetite for a toll increase. Drivers who pay by mail would spend an extra 30% at each toll, plus an extra $2 per billing statement. The change would start in 2021, after the entire thruway system has been converted to cashless tolls. The key point to all this is get easy pass and your tolls outside of the bridge uh, will be unchanged. The bridge he's referring to is the Governor Mario Cuomo Bridge in downstate New York, which all drivers, even with Easy Pass, will pay more on in the coming years. The changes aren't set in stone just yet. They will still have to go through a public hearing process. We're going to be calling on the Thruway Authority to hold public hearings across the state, including right here in Buffalo. These shouldn't be hearings down in Albany and down in New York City exclusively. They need to come to upstate New York and they need to hear from the people of our community. Kennedy isn't alone in his reaction. Assemblyman Angelo Morinello learned of the proposed changes from our report, and he says the authority will likely face bipartisan opposition. All of these have domino effects, and I think that this is one that we seriously need to look at before it goes into effect because of the number of people it's going to impact. Tools will be frozen through 2020, and members on the Thruway Authority Board say the proposed increases are modest and needed, noting that there has not been a toll increase on the Thruway since 2010. Also under the proposal, Easy Pass holders from out of state would pay 15% more than in-state drivers. Members on the Thruway Authority Board were open that they're trying to incentivize people to get Easy Pass. Again, these changes won't go into effect until 2021. Jackie Roberts, Channel 2 News.